All right, let's talk about quadratic equations. And so quadratic equations um, are a very, a very specific form of an equation, right, that we have. We've been really focused on most of the time, and even though we've seen some quadratic equations, we haven't really, um, really stopped and, and, and talked about them much. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is um, doing um, the quadratic equation versus the linear equations that we've been doing. So let me just let me give you a little refresher. Linear equations are things that um, if I were to see them, we could get them into a form called y equals mx plus b where what you'd see a lot of times is you're always going to see the y showing and the x showing. But what you're going to notice here is on a linear equation, the exponent is equal to 1. All right? That's what makes it actually linear is when the exponent on the x and the y are equal to 1, but focus really on the x. And then that meant that I could graph a straight line if needed to, right? Where we find the y-intercept and we find the slope, and then we go and put a nice line, whoops, a nice line through those two things. We put little ends on the line, and it's a nice linear equation. So that's what we've been dealing with. So what we're going to get into is this thing called a quadratic equation. And so for a quadratic equation, we are really focus on what is the thing going to look like for a quadratic equation. So you still might have the y equals, but now we're going to have an a x squared plus b x plus c. So we're going to have kind of these terms happening here. Now what's the difference? The main absolute difference is you are going to see an x term, so the biggest x term is going to be a 2, right? Instead of a 1, right? So if the x term goes away, let's say it goes shoop, 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 then what do you get? You get a linear equation because you got mx plus b or bx plus c as it would look like. But what we're going to do? is keep that x squared term. When you get an x squared term, we now have a quadratic equation, right? And that is literally the things that we want to take note of. Now, here's the other thing that you're going to get with a quadratic equation, as if I go to graph these, how do we know that they're quadratic based on its graph? Well, when you go to graph it, you're going to find out that it always kind of takes on some of this type of shape, like a U shape, right? And it could be a U shape up. It might be a U shape down, but it will be a U shape. If it's a straight line, it's linear. If it's a U shape, no matter whether that's up or down, then it is a quadratic equation. So that U-shape has a fancy name, and it is called a parabola. Right? So that's the graph that will be represented by the quadratic equation. Right? So those are the two main aspects. Is it linear? Is it quadratic? Or is it something else? Because it could still be x to the third power, or x to the fourth power, or something crazy like that. But we just want to know, is it a quadratic equation? Now, you might be kind of thinking, where did this term quadratic equation actually come from? So th since this is integrated, right, both geometry and algebra, let's think about what does the word quad mean? So, right, I'm going to stop quadratic equation. Okay, but let's go back to the word quad, quadratic equation. So, quad. So, quad means four. 
Well, that's strange because the biggest exponent I'm looking for is actually a 2. So why not call it a biradic equation, right? But because the word quadratic actually comes from its geometry elements. Now, if we know geometry, thinking about a quadrilateral, oh, a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral. And the quadratic idea comes from the area, the area of a quadrilateral. Well, that's, that's funny because it's a quadrilateral. So imagine if I call this side x and say this side was 2 times the length of x, right? So like, let's see it's that. And I said, what is the area of this function? Well, you would probably say, well, it's base times height. So I would say, OK, so x times 2x. Now, if I do that, area equals 2. And since the bases are the same, what do we do to the exponents? We add them. 2x squared. Wait, time out. The biggest exponent that I see on there is a 2. If you see a 2 on your exponent, guess what? We're dealing with a quadratic equation. So there is actually where the term quadratic comes from. It comes from the geometric quadrilateral shape and we're really speaking to the area of that. So little history lesson, little geometry algebra mix there, but it gives you the idea on what is a quadratic equation. Here's the important thing that you need to know for today. A quadratic equation will always have the biggest x term to be the exponent of 2. OK, if you see the biggest X term, if you see an exponent greater than two on the X, it's not a quadratic equation. If you see it less than an X squared term, then it's not a quadratic equation. Right. So that's all we need to know is if I was going to find the area, it is a quadratic equation because the terms come from a quadrilateral, then which gives me base and height, which will be an X squared. So that is what you need to know. Um, and then your job is just going to be identifying, is this equation I'm looking at a quadratic equation, or is it a linear equation, or is it something completely different?